This episode of the show is brought to you by such patrons as Gordo, Crispy808, Dharma Wheelies, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Parkman, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Fart 666, Jesus Penis, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. To find out more about the show, visit immoralhole.com. To find our archives, visit travelswithmiriam.com. To hear our live show, visit immoraljuice.com on Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. To donate to the show without using Patreon, we have a page set up at immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Our YouTube is at youtube.com forward slash at Madhouse Militia. Our Patreon is patreon.com forward slash Madhouse Militia. And try and start it up. God damn it. What? Hello? Hi. Hi. My son's shipping out soon. Who's calling? Don't make oh. okay. To call him off a locker. Hi, hello? Hello? I can are you able to hear are you able to hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to find some shoes, um, and I had a few questions. Uh, if you got like a minute to speak with me, yeah. What, uh, what shoes are you looking for? Well, they're going to be female shoes, um, and it's really hard to find uh, shoes that are like wide, the wide shoes. Gotcha. Yeah. So we don't necessarily carry anything that specifically wide. Uh huh. We have, like, our shoes that run a little bit wider, so it'll be, like, my OnClouds or my Adidas. Okay. Well, I guess what I'm specifically, like, looking, I'm not looking for a specific color or anything like that. I'm just looking for um, fat girl shoes. The only thing I would really have that necessarily, like, runs wide is going to be probably an Adidas. Okay, because I'm just looking for something for a fat girl. She's got a foot, then when she steps down, it, like, expands, like, three times the size wide because she has the cankle. Yeah. In the Hello? camping hole behind the parking lot. Hi. Hello? I'm looking for a camping hole. Yes. Can you hear me? Hi. How are you? Yeah. I'm doing good. I'm sorry. I think you have okay. the wrong number. No, I do not. I'm looking for a camping hole. A camping hole? Yes, a hole for camping. And yeah, maybe I'm... some camping hole grease as well. So we can fit all the campers in there real nice and tight. You know, camping trip. Portable hole. Full oil would be acceptable, too, if you don't have full grease. <laughs> hey, ask for matches. See if they got the waterproof. Waterproof camping hole. Or can we scotch guard it? <laughs> Hello? Are you there? You can definitely scotch guard it. Okay. Is there any particular type of scotch guard you recommend? And where do I pick up this hole anyway? You aren't explaining anything. <laughs> Ask about the water in the shoes. The water in my shoes, what do I do? Can I use the scotch guard after the item is already what? You definitely or moist? want to dump the water out first. Yeah, but Where do I put it, though? Here. There's a lot of it in here. There's <laughs> so sure. much of it in here. I don't know where to put sink. it. Sink. Do you want it? Possibly. Possibly the sink. No, I'm going to give it to you. You sound like you could use it. <laughs> the water? Yes. You know, shoe yeah, water. water. Shoe water? You don't have shoe water, though. This is good shoe. stuff. Nice and fresh. Your 
your people who pay big bucks for this on the street. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet. <laughs> Cut to the chase. Do you have water or not? Negative. This guy wants to shoot water. Find something else. I think there's a hose out back. You can try that. Hello? Hello? Hi, how you doing? Fine. Yourself? Hi. Good. Uh I hear you you sell camping goods. Oh, <clears throat> oh you're so good looking for my old business. Uh, I used oh. to, but it's oh. unfortunately <laughs> not in for <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been open for about five years now. I had to close it down. Oh. Oh, you still have a Google Maps listing. I don't know if you were aware of that. I've tried to clean it up, but I guess oh, the one okay. something you're to always big on the rag. Yeah, you have to use bleach bit. That'll get rid of it. What's it called? It's a service. It's called bleach bit. Bleach pit. P I T. Yeah, yeah, bleach pit. Yeah. That's interesting. That'll do it. Yeah. And it just it, cleans it also off. Has a service. Yeah, it'll I clean see. it off with a nice rag. Yeah. Interesting. Sorry, I've been drink I've been eating a lot of MREs lately and things are things are weird. Yeah, I, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. It's only getting weirder. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll let you go. I didn't mean to bother you or anything, but uh yeah, Google is a pain to work with to get rid of uh, listings like that. But uh I'm sure you'll find it. You'll you'll find the way to get rid of it. Have a yeah. good night, all right? All righty. Well, good luck to you. All right, thanks a lot. All right. Oh, boy. Bye. So, you Phil Locker, how can I help you this evening? Hi. Um, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can. Hello? Okay. Hello? Um, do you guys carry children's shoes? Yes, we do. What's the smallest size? For, like... Infant, toddler, grade school. Um, yeah, probably like toddler. Yeah, shoes. I know for like, yeah. So we have infant shoes, which are, if I'm not mistaken, infant is four to ten, and then toddler is eleven to three. Okay, do you guys have like Jordans in that size? We have a couple, yes. Okay. Um, so what, what's your return policy like? Uh, thirty days. Thirty days. Okay. And if they're worn, can you, can you still bring them back? Or? Um, they can't be like really beat up. Okay. So if they're like okay, no So if they're slightly um, worn, I think that's okay. I th- I think this would probably be okay. Um. So, my daughter recently died of uh, leukemia, and Mm -hmm. um, the funeral home was wanting us to get, uh, like, an outfit ready for her, and she always loved Jordan. Um, Mm. We we, we signed her up for the Make-A-Wish, you know, but it didn't get to her in time, unfortunately. Um, I'm so sorry. But I wanted to get a pair, but we just need them for the the funeral, so I just was going to bring them back afterwards, but she'd be wearing them, you know, in the past yeah, I'd have to ask my manager if that's correct. First cool. of all, I'm very sorry for your loss. I don't. I mean, I have it's to ask okay. My we have two other kids. So. Okay, let me just ask okay. my manager. Give me one sec. Okay, and if you could also, we're we're doing um, embalming, and they've warned us about like fluids that can leak. So, like, if we can we scotch guard the shoes or. Unnatural fluids. All natural. Natural fluids? What this happened? woman performs a ritual that restores what no. every day takes away. A fluid that renews a natural flow of moisture that slows with time. Oh, God. Natural fluids. No, no natural fluids. Thank you.
Pat made some wild ads back in the day. I'm looking for... Hello? The Black Rat Fashion Show, this is Kelijah. Hi, I'm looking for a shoe for my son that's shipping out to boot camp. Uh, what shoe was it? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What is that I'm sorry? Yeah, my son needs boots for boot camp. Oh, unfortunately, we don't carry those. What about shoe boots? I'm sorry? Uh, shoe boot. What can come through? Then I think I have funny. Shoe booty? Yeah. Uh, no. What about walrus gum boots? Okay. No. No? We, what up, if you what want, about you mirrors can pull up, on some hobnail boots? If you want, you can pull up Google and type in Manoa boots and see if you like those because those are the only ones we sell by Nike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he needs for when he gets to boot camp, so they beat him up. Sir, sir, I need boots, sir. Sir, I need boots, sir. There he is. Okay, I won't be able to order through the phone. You can either do footlocker.com, our, our footlocker app, or you can come in store and we can order it for you. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure you had them, that's all. Yeah, we can order them through online. We don't have them in store, though. Okay, all right, yeah, that makes sense, okay, yeah. Will you have it in within the week or no? If I ordered it, like, tomorrow, I come in, we, we bring my stupid kid in, he'll, you know, have his feet out. Sir, I'm stupid, sir. His girlfriend likes to wear fat shoes. It usually takes about three to five business days to ship out uh, things from online. Wait, so it's coming from I online think. to your store to the shoes to the house? I'm confused. You order it in store and it gets shipped to your uh, place of residence. Or you can ship it to the store oh. and you can come back and pick it up. That's confusing, but okay. Liar. Well, we'll figure that out. Let me put my brother on. He had other questions. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi, I do Hi, all the... I'm the man of the house, and I do all the purchase decisions. Mm-hmm. So I'm making, I'm making a budget for the household right now. What is your cheapest shoe? Depends on what you're looking for. I'm looking for for some uh, cowboy boots. We don't have cowboy boots. Do you we have, have steel toe boots? Might have some. No, we don't carry boots. What do you got? You got basketball shoes? I have nothing shoes? relative to boots. Yeah, I have basketball shoes. The cheapest one is seven ninety nine. It's a Kyrie five. What about pro wings? No. You know the ones that Payless used to sell, the Pro Wings? Yeah, we don't carry shoes that Payless sells. Oh. Because those are really good, like, for the first week. But if you scuff them, you had to buy that, like, white paint, and then you, like, painted your shoes. You painted over the scuffs. Is that, okay, sir, I need to uh, assume the customers in my store. Were there any other questions that I can help you out with? Oh, no, they don't. Those Those customers don't have any money. Um, have a good they're, night. they're just browsing. Oh, what are we drinking? Hello? He's drinking a cup full of fucking static. Hello, sir? Hello? Hi. Hey, can you jiggle the cord on the phone? There's some static. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you know on the base of the phone, that cord that goes into the phone, can you push it hard in so you have a good connection? Can you hear me better now? Maybe. What's wrong with the phone? It's okay. I do. Who are you? So I'm looking for a Halloween. Rose model. Hello. Oh yeah. Hello. Hi, my name is Pinoc. My name is Pinocchio. 
And I want a costume so I can be a real boy. Hello? <laughs> I guess. Hello? Please leave a message. Uh, okay. Hello? Hello? I'm calling about uh, the hotel machine. I'm here. My kid's got his foot stuck in the door. Uh, it's Halloween, and he wants to really go trick-or-treating tonight, but no one's here. I can't get the door open. I need help. Give me a call. Hello? Hi, this is Tina in American Costumes. We just missed your call. Miss General, Red Shoe. I'm sorry? Can we discuss this? Uh, There's a stalker <laughs> that has our numbers, and... Um, what are you talking about, sir? I'm a costume store. Are you looking for a Halloween costume or a stalker? Miss General, red shoe. I, I don't know what you're talking about. He called me from your number. I know it was not you. Uh, no, this is a costume store, sir. Well, the scam likely thing, I'm the person that wrote that code, okay? Now, millions of people have seen scam uh, likely come up over What are you fucking insane? Phone. I hope it was too. You're calling a travel lodge. Is Barbara speaking? How can I help you? Hi. How much for ants? Sorry? How much for ants? I have 600 ants that need a room. They're in a box. They won't get out. Rocking bottle? Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm locked in my room. Um, I can't find my way out. Sorry? I, I'm stuck in the room. The door won't open. I Which mean, room like, number? Uh, it's the 15 on the second, you know, right around the bend there. And the door, it, it's like someone poured like wood glue between the door and the jam, and it's all glued together. Well, which room number? It's one five. Uh, is, is it one one five two one five? Sorry, it's the uh, wrong number. Well, no, no, you put me here, and you glued me in the door. Which hotel do you require? Rocky. Rocky Inn. In. Yeah. Rock, Rocky Inn. It is the say it is the another hotel over there. It is the different Rocky. Well, this is you, Rocky Inn. I'm rocking in the room, and I'm stuck in here. Well, which room number? 115? Yes, that's the yes, one. But, but here, only we have only the 10, ten rooms. Oh, then it must be yeah. 10. Yeah, the last it's one. a different Rocky room. Oh, see? I got confused. Yeah. <laughs> Someone poured like a bottle of wood glue through the door jam, and the door won't open. No, scared. but it is it's not a same model, just you want. Okay, it's, it's a different Rocky. Oh, but I I came to you, I thought. So, sorry, listen to me. What do you want to call the Rocky? It's the different model and this Rocky is the different model. It's in the Long, Bull, Long Beach Boulevard. Oh, yeah, I'm on the other one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the I'm the one where there's a there's a gond here that needs a lung, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm glad we're on the same page. Nineties, come on, come on. Still one more Hi, I need to Hi. get shelter with my brother. We're gonna shelter together uh, tonight. He has the blankets and I have the p pillow. Yeah. Do you have a room? Hello. Hi, you have a room? No, we have no room. Oh, what happened? What happened to the room? Nothing, nothing. It's full. What's it full of, though? Shit. Oh, that explains it. You don't need too much cheese. I got room right now. Hello. Hello, good sir. Hello. Hi. Yes. Yes, sir. I I'm in my room right now. 
And I'm, writing, like I'm writing on the wall. I'm, I, yeah, I'm taking notes on the wall. I have a Sharpie marker. How do you? I need to know how to spell something. Do you have a phone? You could look this it up. Right Wagner Motel Linwood, sir. Yeah, I'm writing on the wall in my room at the wagon wheel. What room number are you in, sir? I'm I'm in number ten. How do you spell Mater Chode on the wall? I want to write it. I don't know, sir. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's see. How? Hey Siri, how do you smell smell motherfucker in Hindi? Hello? Where you go, guy? Studio 6, Bill Flower, how can I help you? Hi, that Studio box six, thing in my room keeps... Hello? Okay. That box thing in my room... That box thing in my room keeps making noise. What do I do about it? What box it? thing? What box thing? What room are you in? The box thing. I'm in what the room, are you in? room with one bed. The one with what the one bed. What room number? What room number? The one I was checked into. You should what have a number? record of that. Sir, what room the number are you in? The one you checked into. What's wrong with your records? Styling in. Hi. I'm here in the room and the, the things are floating. What room? Oh, it's the ten. It's the one by the ice machine. Ice machine? Well, maybe it's not an ice machine. It's a machine of some sort. That's by the back. You room. know the what room number? I need a room number. I'm not, so I can... Oh, I'm, well, it's okay. Uh, it's just I'm concerned. Is the hotel haunted? What room number you are? Well, I think it's more outside. So my, well, I'm sitting in my car and things are floating what in my outside, car. What outside? But what room number? Well, I'm not staying here. I'm just letting you know I was here with a friend. So earlier. why are you calling me? You know, stay here. So why are you complaining? Oh uh, no, I'm not complaining. I'm just asking a question. I yeah, just want to know. Yeah, but why you you not you not in the room? So how do you know it's right. leaking? Well, I'm think. Oh, cause I'm not in the room, but I'm seeing things floating. They're in my car. I'm out here. I'm parked here. And I just want to know car? if it, I don't have no parking lot, have no car. So I'm not in your parking it? lot. So you may be somewhere else. So why are you complain to me? I'm not complaining. I'm just wondering if your hotel's haunted. Okay. Thank you. Very nice customer. Or of course not. Hello, Jala Motel. How can I help you? Hi. I'm uh, I'm a service uh, for the, the people here. Like I was delivering food, and. Uh, my pizza lifted out of my hands as I was standing in front of a door to deliver it, and it lifted up to the ceiling and then it disappeared. Uh, just a minute, I give to the manager. Wait a minute. Okay, it's very spooky. Hello, can I help you? Hi, I'm a delivery driver. I was delivering a pizza here. I went up to the door. Which and one? The pizza. Oh, I don't recall exactly which number it was. Uh, it was on the app, and my short-term memory is not very good. Okay. But it was, yeah, it was on the first floor there, and the pizza it lifted up out of my hands, and, and it lifted up to the ceiling, and then it disappeared. Okay. It was a very strange experience, and I'm not sure whether or not the hotel's haunted or if I'm if I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Which uh, hotel are you at? Oh, this one. East side. This one? Huh? Yeah. East side. Uh, okay. Well, what was the name of the hotel, though? It was the East Sider Motel. East Side Motel? East Sider. Oh, well, you got the wrong motel. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's weird. So, yeah. So you may want to call East Side. Uh, on PCH, right? Well, I was there. Well, I was there, and the pizza went up, and I I don't know if I have to go somewhere now. Oh, just uh, ask uh, the the front desk clerk to see if they can replace it. Yeah, that, that doesn't track, but okay, I'll try. Yeah, just tell yeah. them that, hey, uh, the pizza disappeared. What's going on? Yeah. All right, that's a All good right. idea. Yeah. My man, thank you.
And then if that doesn't work, just call the pizza guy and just tell me, hey, you didn't deliver it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right. All right. All I'm right. going to defraud a company. All right. Thanks. Uh, all right. Sounds like a plan. Enchilada, how may I help you? Hi, Enchilada Hotel. How are you? Nope. Is that fun? Hi, I was wondering, uh, after I eat the food, uh, how should I return it back to you to recycle? Oh. Um, where do you guys live? Oh, just around the corner here. I, I, ate, uh, I ate the food, and I'm ready to, uh, to release it into my toilet, but I'm thinking maybe I should return it to you, recycle it. Yeah, what you can do, you're going to put it in some uh, tower, you know, save it for three days, then you bring it back. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll, thank you. I'll save it and I'll bring it to you. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, Ben Chod. Bye. Bye. Who wants it? This is restaurant? Yeah. Thanks, Clank Spice Fat. Hi there. Hello. I was just wondering what your, what your recycling policy is, like, when it comes out, do I bring it back? Oh, what do you, you want to bring back? Uh, you know, after it comes out, I bring yeah. back and it can be recycled. Bag? What kind of bag? I didn't get. You can no, come. bring you back. have a lot of space. Okay. Um, what do I do you with have a lot that of space? space? We we have a lot of room available today. We are not busy. How many guests coming? Uh, it's only going to have to be one, really. There isn't too to much you. yet. Yeah. That's what come. she said. Okay, what about oh! this guy who I just met out here? He's coming. Oh! If I'm coming, he's coming. about this working. Hello? Yes? Hi. I ate there earlier and now it's it's starting to re- uh, release. I was wondering if you wanted me to bring it back for recycling. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm eating, I ate your food and now I'm ready to re- release it back into the wild and I was wondering if you wanted me to come back with it to recycle it for tomorrow. Yeah, it comes out my ass, and I bring it to you, and you feed it. If you get it from New New like Mom's milk? tits. Hi. Uh, uh, do you have the milk that comes from the the cow? The cow Mutra? Hello? 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 Okay. Mother India Hi. I was there earlier with my family. We had your food. And we were wondering, uh, do we bring it back to recycle? Oh, thank you. Like when we'd eaten it and then we... we uh, Daddy, it released. It released? Yeah. Oh, God. Where do oh, I God. It? It's in I my don't hand. know. This is Groove. Do I bring it back? Hello? Hello? Hi, do I bring it back to recycle for Hello? tomorrow? Hello? Hi. Hey. Hello? Yes? Hi. Yeah. My son, he's he's excreted the food. It, it got out. Do we bring it back for recycling? The leavings. So which uh, leavings. you got by online or by call? What? Yes, yes. You order by, by a phone call or like what? Oh, we ate. Uh, we we came there by you know we were walking in. And we we sat down and we we made an order and we ate. Yes. And then we went home and we processed it and now it's coming out and we wanted to know if you wanted us to recycle it, bring it back and you know, put it in tomorrow's food. In the restaurant, Habra. Hello. Hi. How are you, my friend? Very good. Uh, my name is Bodmash. What is your name? 
Sam. The same. Your name is also Bodmash. Sam. Sam. S A M. Oh, Sam. Yes. What's up, Sam? Good. Give me one second. Good. Good. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. How can I help you, brother? Oh. Are we brothers? Uh. Okay. How can I help you? Okay. Um. I want a room. What is it? Eco River Microchild, this is Susan. Can I help you? Hi, where's the meth lab at in the room? The what lab? The meth lab. I was told there would be a complimentary meth lab. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, there isn't. I'm here. Oh, can I build one? No. Yeah, do you, okay. Do you have any beakers and tubes and vials? And nope. Bunsen burners? Nope. Okay, if you don't have a Bunsen burner, do you have like tea lights? Those work no. too. Damn it. How am I supposed to luck. make drugs if you don't? I need to make drugs. Well, that's not going to For the happen. children. That's not going to happen. Why? Why? Because children don't uh, need drugs. Yes, they do. They're all no, on drugs they these don't. days. That'll mellow them out too much. Oh. Tell me one kid that's not on drugs. A rich kid? Drugs? Drugs? Did you say drugs? <laughs> Did you say drugs? Oh my god! <laughs> see, are you gonna see? He's 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 going through withdrawal. I have to make him some mess. Well, I need the blue. I need the water like this. Give him Sudafed, and that will help. Give him a bunch no, of Sudafed. No, you got to use your... <laughs> I, you you got to show your ID to get Sudafed, because I know people are going to make mess with it. That's... Well, you got to show your ID here and a credit card. Bitch. Yeah, but I'm just squatting here. I'm, I'm not actually like a paying guest. So well, you got to be a paying guest to even get in here. I, I have the ability to phase through walls. I take magic mushrooms, and then the door turns into, like, this very colorful spiral, and then I can walk right through. Yeah. Well, Dan, give him mushrooms. I'm not giving him my mushrooms. They're my mushrooms. Why not? Get your own. Then get him some. Whoop. It's they're not the same as meth though. You can't you can't oh, satisfy yeah, they a are. meth habit yes, with mushrooms. They are. See that they would be psychedelic and then they would just have a nice trip. No, then they might invent a smartphone like Steve Jobs. Well, Steve, Steve Jobs that's a good thing. Did, no, it's bad. Why is that bad? No. Well, you see the kids these days. Not only are they on drugs, but they look at their phones like 24-7. They don't even look up. That is so true. See, that phones are bad. Phones are bad. And magic mushrooms. Yeah. So if I give this kid magic mushrooms, imagine what he's going to invent. A magic marker. No, it's already no, it's already a thing. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I think. <laughs> what? Is, well, so try, try in Anchorage. For... Try in Anchorage. They might Anchorage. let you do that. Yeah. Why? Why would Anchorage be more amenable to a mess lab than your place? Because you have more kids there. Really? Okay. I was thinking, you know how they have ice cream trucks? Yeah. Like, I was thinking of a mess truck. You know, that would be a good idea. APD you would really so? like that. Yeah, APD would like that. At least they know where one place to go. Because then they know one place Who's to go. Who's APD? Anchorage Police Department. 
Oh. Oh. Well, like I would, I, I, I would just, I would put like, you know, all the ice cream pictures up on the truck, but underneath each one, I would put it's actually meth, like in small print. <laughs> Well, when you come up with that good of a truck, then, I don't know, then you'll not have to worry about a place to make meth anymore. You'll have it right there in the ice cream truck. Hmm. That's actually a really good idea. I could be making the meth while driving around the neighborhood. Yeah. I don't know. The roads are too bumpy, though, because the local government doesn't fill potholes the way they should. Well, <laughs> and my, things might splash around, and it's That's not a true. good idea. That, that, that is true. And we have a lot of dirt roads. Hmm. Yeah, see? So, bingo, bingo. Then you just have to park the, the truck to make the drugs, and after you make them, then you drive. Hmm. I like you. Park at one of the you homeless camps. Come up with camp. ideas. Park at one of the tent camps. Oh, the homeless camp. No, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna raid my truck. <laughs> take all my mess. At least they won't be drunk no more. Do you think it's better to be an alcoholic or a mess addict? Which one do you think is better? A mess addict. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I I don't know if I agree with you because well, how much does how much does it cost to get drunk? Like, how much do you have to drink versus how much meth do you need to buy to get high? Okay, to get uh, meth. Oh, let's see here. To get really good and drunk, you probably have to drink a couple of. Uh, A bunch of forties, couple forties. A couple forties, okay. Or a fifth. Hmm. But so you have that's to have like the hard what? Stuff. Fifteen, twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. No. Let's see here. About. I would say about the same amount. Okay, fifty dollars. You can get really good and drunk, and fifty dollars you can buy meth. That's the same price. Yeah. But the meth will last. Right. But one. Well, on the next day. But meth, the alcohol won't. But meth makes your. Meth makes your teeth fall out and your heart explode, though. So, I mean, those are side effects. And, uh, well, alcohol, they fall down and they break their teeth out. Well, see, you just can't win. And that's Maybe right. you should just say no. Just say Remember no to drugs. Remember the 80s? Just yep. say no to drugs? Just say no. I couldn't no. play an arcade game without the D.A.R.E. campaign staring me in the face saying, Hey, kids, that's don't right. do drugs. Don't do drugs. That's the drugs best way. Are, drugs are bad. I'm kind. That's right. Mm-hmm. So all the kids need to get off the drugs. That's right. See now, now you don't have to have a hotel to buy make drugs. But how am I going to make a kids. living now? Mm. Find a good idea, a good invention. A good invention. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Start your own I, business. Maybe I'll maybe I'll switch to being a pimp. Like now that's that might the, actually there you be, go. That's the oldest profession in the world. Is is the, can't say the word because you're at work. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, you have a good man. night. Well, I mean, I really appreciate. Yeah, I really appreciate this career counseling. Yeah. Oh, you're so welcome. You, uh, anytime. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for putting me on the straight and narrow. I'll okay. stop making meth and I'll start and I'll start pimping women, and then okay. things will get better for me. That's uh, true. Yeah, All right. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah. Like, how does she know that? Alaskan View Motel, how may I help you? Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hello. Alaskan View Motel, how may I help you? Oh, this is the Alaskan uh, View. Okay, perfect. I'm looking for a room. Okay, do you have any pets? 
Uh, no. What I was have that? One son, one son, and one brother. Ah, All right. Give, give me one second, and I can look. Soon. Yeah, we're shipping them out. You know, this is one last hurrah before we we ship them out to the, the, the you know. The people to help him. Starfleet, the Starfleet, Starfleet, Dad, Starfleet. It were unlocking his cage. Unfortunately, it looks like we're fully booked tonight. Oh, you got a room somewhere. How about a under the desk or a closet or something? My son ain't that big. Come on. Tell him, Sonny, how big are you? Four foot tall. Hey, Hello? you. Hi. Hello. Yes, my son. He's only four foot tall. He don't need that big a room. Unfortunately, we just don't have any. We're fully booked for the night. I'm so sorry. Even a towel closet? If all them guests are using their towels, we could take the closet for how about $20? Unfortunately, we don't have any any room in the any. We don't even have a closet, so I would recommend the Trout House or the Grand View Inn or Alaska Select. The outhouse. How about the outhouse? You can let us use your outhouse. The That'd Trout House. We need to clean it up afterwards. We have a plumber to clean it up, honey. Help us. He's going to be gone. We ain't going to see him for years. Gonna be out on the water. Tell him, Sonny. Come on, Wendy. I'm gonna miss you. Unfortunately, I don't have anything I can help you with. So sad. Oh, darling. Sorry about that. Oh, how about trick or treat? We'll throw a big trick or treat for your party tonight. You know what? That way we'll pair away. Well, there's actually no one in the office. Sorry. Oh, well, we could come and greet you, and we wouldn't even be stormed that loud. We wouldn't mind. You could be in the office. Oh, there's no one there. Everyone has gone home for the night. Sorry about that. I I do have another work call, so I will will have to let you go. I'm sorry about that. Okay, sure. Sugar. Well, we got our pins out. Trick or treat. You got anything for us? Trick or treat. <laughs> Have a good night. Be your sweetie. I love you. This is concerned by calling. Huffing in the Why are you concerned? Huffing in the streets. How may I, I help just, you? Hi, I just got a call to my room. And it said that the front desk was concerned, and so I'm just wondering why are you concerned? About what's the room number? Two fifteen. There was a message. It said, "Hi, this is the front desk. We are concerned." And I just want to know why are you concerned? I have no idea, sir. Um, what is your room number? Two fifteen. We don't have a 215. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm dyslexic. It's 152. We don't have a 152. Huh. What about a 512? Yep, what's your, we don't have a 512. What's your last name? Johnson. Johnson. What about a 251? Uh, I don't know. I wrote the numbers down, and I just need to figure out which combination is the right one. What's your first name? Meth. What is your first name? Meth. My name is Meth Johnson. You should have it there in your computer machine. We have a lot of Johnsons. That's why it's taking me a minute to look it up. 
Oh, okay. So what have we tried? We try do you try one two five? Yeah, we don't have a one two five. <laughs> so the room is under your name? Yeah. Under I'm having a Halloween you party in here. That's yep. why I thought maybe they called the room and said they were concerned because I've converted the hotel room into a haunted house. Yep, what's And I've been inviting people. M E T H E. M E T H E. Um, yeah, I can't find you in our system. Yeah, so I like hired people off the street to like be in the in the room at the haunted uh, hotel room. And uh the, the people walk through the door, you know, someone crawls out from under the bed and goes, "Boo!" Like, ah! And then they keep going, they walk towards the bathroom, and then someone pops up out of the toilet. I don't know how he fit in there, but he's in there. Yep, I'm not finding a room under your name. Hmm. Let's see. One, two, one, five. One, two, five. Five, one, two. Nope. Two, five, nope. one. Nope. That's not us. What are your room numbers like then? You have like two numbers? Uh, yeah, we have four numbers on each room. Oh, okay. So maybe I missed a number. What about yeah. 2150? Yeah. Nope. It would be 1205, something like that. <sighs> How about 1250? Um, nope. We don't have a 1250. Uh, you're not making this easy. I... I'm not finding your name. And you said the room's under your name, um, right? I don't know. Maybe I gave my middle name Count. Yeah. Like nope. I said Count Dracula. Nope. Hold oh. there. I have a second middle name. Yeah. Um, we are on hold. She could come back at any time. My, my second middle name is Fester. She has a lot of Johnsons. <laughs> I should ask. How big were they, though? That's a good question. I should ask. Actually, that could be a that could be a means by which to identify the which Johnson it is. Did she record the length of each Johnson? Well, the Johnson I saw was very large. Um, he had a big beard. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, it was sticking out of his trousers. <laughs> a bearded elephant. A sword. <laughs> Yes, every single week. Happy Hello, birthday, Range. This is Jimmy. Can I help you? Hi, happy birthday. I love you. Uh, I need to know if you have any rooms available. I do. Oh, nice. So how many people? Four people. It's my son, my father, and my brother-in-law. Um, and I myself. See. Oh, yeah. My I son don't... Uh, out soon. Uh, I don't have any rooms that'll hold that many people. My rooms are real small. Um, I don't have rooms. Oh, yeah, no, we can. Tell them we're small. Tell them we're small. We're small people. Right. Like, yeah, uh, you can always try know, uh, four Try four Young's four Motel, 883-4411. Uh, oh, no, no, I don't want to know. No, seriously, most of us are like two, three feet tall. We can fit anywhere. Uh, yeah, we're little people. Dog. Oh, Hello, yeah. thank you for calling Pioneer Motel. <laughs> Hi. This is Jenny. Hi. Yeah, when I bring my family in, is already my son's on a leash. If you're what? 
with my sons on a leash. Some people get weirded out and think, oh, you know, that's cruel. But he's a real, you know, a little bastard, you know. He gets into everything. If I if I don't have him on a leash, he'll be breaking everything and smashes everything. Um, uh, you have a reservation with us tonight? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I, so. My I, wife said she was going to make it. I don't know if she did. Okay. Yeah. My my own my you know my concern is the noise level just because we're a motel so we have like thin walls. The motherfucker just bit me, man. Here, take the phone. Where are you? I'll deal with it. No, he bit me. The little motherfucker bit me, man. Come here. Why are you concerned? Cause he might have given me tetanus. I got a rusty nail. Am I afraid to use it? Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hang up. Unless you guys have any other concerns. No, don't do questions. that. Oh, you should, you should totally... Uh, no, well, we, we do have do a concern. It. We have many concerns. I have a quick question. Why don't you just hang up? Why do, do you say you're going to hang up? So, it's like in it's, movies let, let, where the villain... Guys, Shut up, I'm talking. Have a reservation <laughs> don't talk what's over me. What's the it's, name of okay, the reservation? Do you know in movies... Uh, Johnson... So you know in movies how the villain like tells a whole story before I, they I don't are gonna have kill the person a or whatever. In that name. You have a good night. It's Mess Johnson. Mess <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> 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 oh, no. How can I help you? Bueno. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear person. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Hi, we were paid to call and sing happy birthday. This is a birthday gram. Problem, but Hello, he's not too intelligent for this. Hello. Louis not time, How may I help you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. What kind of? Like do for to make you? a room booking. I'd like to make a booking, please. Okay. Can I get a a room for a five people, please? Yeah, we're a traveling polka band. There's five of us. Are you crank calling me right now? No, no we literally we're drive around we're a the gypsy country. We're a band that used to be a part of Ringling Brothers, and we're trying to get a room. Okay. Sorry. We're trying to bring back the uh, elephants, you know, to the circus and uh, slap them when they don't do the right thing. Wait a minute, I thought we were a polka band. Um, I think I lied to you there, Joe. Uh, we're actually uh, uh, the reincarnation of Ringling Brothers. We're, huh. calling a, we're calling a Wing Dingling Brothers. I need to stop applying for jobs when I'm drunk. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Hi. Yes. I was wondering if you had any uh, openings for whole rooms? Holes. Opening for what? The room holes. I can put my body in there and light comatose for a number of hours really and then nice. wake up feeling refreshed. Okay, for for just overnight? Yeah, one overnight. Over easy. Okay, so uh, one person. How many people and do you have any pets? I have two people with me. They do not uh, identify as pets except for the one. He identifies okay. Who do you, you know what he means by pets? Yeah. Animals. Animals. Do you have any animals? Yeah. Yeah. He identifies as an animal. Hey, He's a hey, person. Tell you what. Tell you what. I pass. Hey. You sound Stay. super difficult. Don't, don't call me back, okay? Just uh, I'm I gonna pass. call Bye. you back. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. You sound super difficult. I hear this, Nick. Man, I hope you. Hey, Nick. How's it? How's it freaking going, man? It's going good. How you doing? 
I'm not doing too good. I, my name is Robert Jonathan Fifth, the Sir, and I am the owner of Marty's Furniture Store here in Fresno. And I'm very pissed that you, uh, one of your truck drivers, came by my store and put his butt cheeks up against the uh, windows of my glass. All right, have a good night, man. No, 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 no. I'm just going to get stuck. <laughs> Thank you for calling Cemetery and Haunted House. Yes, hello. I'm trying to sort the hotel. Oh, I'm so scared and I can't find my way out. Please give me a call to someone right away. They won't touch, stop touching me. Oh, God. I need to cheese me. Hello. Yes, I'm trapped in the house. I can't find my way out. in the haunted house. Hello? This is Ted from Florida. Excuse me? My name is Jack. Oh, it's Jack from the Beanstalk. Yeah. Yeah. What okay. are you talking about? I'm I'm lost, but all I can see is I'm by Dracula's coffin. Do you know where that is? Nope. How do I get out of here? Follow the light. There, it's all dark. I, I can't see anything. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I think I found something. Yep, that's it. Oh, no, there's a ghost. There's like a real ghost. Oh, my God. I've been slimed. Oh, my God. Just like in the Ghostbusters. I thought that was just a movie. Oh. Help me. I'm very uh, scared. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, fucking move. Hello? This is Jack from the Beanstalk. You were right. I knew it, I knew it. Jack. Yeah. So... I'm trying to find the beanstalk so I can climb out of here. Where is it? It's to your right. You're lying. I don't trust you. 
You're catching on. You're why catching would you on. help me? <laughs> why? Why are? I think there's like a real vampire here. Yeah, he's 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 beckoning me over, and for some reason I can't resist him. No, Dracula, you Dracula, you don't want me. I have the diabetes. My my you're, blood is you're, the diabetes. Your feet are dying. Mmm, tasty. I have high blood sugar, Dracula. It's not good for you. Sir, what are you doing? It sounds like a horror movie on the other side of this conversation. Delta Accommodations in Alaska Country Inn, this is Kira. Good evening. I would like to reserve a resting space, please. Um, for when? For tonight. Just one night? Yes, only the night. And what's the name? Count. Count what? Count Dracula. I want a room with a king-sized coffin. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't have coffins. <laughs> I can only sleep in a coffin. <laughs> well, dang it. We're going to have to get some for next year. You should... Count Dracula does go on vacation now and again. Well, man, I didn't get the memo. I need a room with a coffin, not a bed. Remember for next year. <laughs> okay, I will for sure. <laughs> Good evening. Good night. I Thank will you for go the laugh. somewhere else to sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, little one. Bye. Are you having trouble hanging up the phone? <laughs> you said... Delta Accommodations in Alaska Country Inn. This is Kira. Hi. My name is Renfield. I need to reserve a room for my master, Dracula. I just told Dracula we don't have any coffins. Dr Dracula doesn't take no for an answer. He's well, going to beat me unmercifully if he's going to beat me unmercifully if I don't get him a room with a coffin. <gasps> um, do you have any suggestions? Yes. Do you have many Amazon Prime boxes you could cut into a coffin? That is an idea. I don't know if it would be very comfortable for him, though. I, Dracula, Dracula's kind of an asshole. I don't really care if he's comfortable. Well, um, at this hotel, we like to provide comfort for our customers. Yes, yes, but Dracula, he beats me unmerciful, and he, he gives me low self-esteem. Maybe we should reserve a room for you instead. No, Dracula makes me sleep outside. Well, that's not very nice. He says I smell like rotting cheese. Did you try showering? What is that? 
You should look it up. But seriously, though, Dracula needs a room with a king-size coffin. Can you make it happen? Yes, I definitely can. Great. That means I get to live. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are welcome. Okay. Dracula Dracula will be there shortly. You'll okay. know him. He looks like <laughs> he looks like the guy on the Count Chocula cereal box. Awesome. I'll be waiting. All right. Good job. Have a good night. Good night. Security control, this is Joe. How can I help you? Security control, this is Joe. How can I help you? Hey, Hi. hey, get one second. Hey, let me let me get the phone to my my dad. Hey, da dad, take the phone. Hi. Hello. Security control, this is Joe. How can I help you? Hello, I am his father. Hola. Um, hi, this is uh, Frankie with Cemetery Modern House, returning to Miss Fall. Hello. Hello, this is uh, Cemetery Haunted House. My name is Nikki, but I have a missed call from this number. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just, I just, you, I just missed your call. This number just came in, and I was returning the phone call. Why does that concern concern you? I was just returning the missed phone call. Why are you concerned? So, 